Hi there, I'm Angela Brown, and this is Ask a House Cleaner. This is a show where you get to ask a house cleaning question. I get to help you find an answer. Now, today's question comes from a house cleaner who was being very careful inside someone's home. She picked something up, she dusted it. When she went to put it back, she put it back too hard. It cracked and it broke. And now she wants to know how she's supposed to deal with that in replacing that with the customer. So it's a great question because every house cleaner, if you clean houses long enough, you are going to break something. Everybody breaks something when they clean houses. Nobody plans on breaking things and it's not in anybody's goal. Hey, I'm going to come to your house and I'm going to break your stuff. Nobody decides to do that. That is, that's just not good for the bottom line. So, but it is going to happen. And so you have to address it right up front. Now for me, when I go to a customer's house, I say these things, listen, I'm going to come to your house. I'm going to clean your house. I'm going to do an amazing job and I'm going to break your stuff. And they're like, what? I don't mean to break your stuff. I'm as careful as I know how to be. And it's one of the reasons that I carry insurance in the event that I break something, I will always tell you and I will always replace it. But because of the nature of my job, I get to move hundreds of things in the course of a day. I pick stuff up, I dust under it, I wipe around it, I put it back. But in that process, I break stuff. And it's not a lot of things. I break two or three things a year. But when I do, I feel really terrible about it. It's super embarrassing. And I will let you know. As we go through your house, will you point out anything to me that's already broken that might just be sitting there very gingerly that's actually already broken so I don't think I broke it? And if there's like a mirror that's hanging on one nail, will you tell me so that I can brace the mirror while I'm cleaning it so that I don't just think, oh, it's secure on the wall and I go to clean it and then it drops and shatters and breaks because then that would be unfortunate for everyone. So I just asked the customer right up front, will you tell me if there's something that is a family heirloom and it's a hundred years old and no amount of money can replace it because I want to make sure that I give that particular item either extra special attention or I don't touch it at all. And there are customers that have said, you know what, that is super important to me. Don't touch it at all. Okay. We're agreeing right up front. I'm never going to dust this item. If it breaks, it's not me. I didn't, I didn't get close to it. So make those agreements right up front. Then when you do break something, cause I, <laughs> like I said, you will break something and it's unfortunate when it happens, take a picture of it. Take a picture of it so that you know that you broke it and you can send a picture to the customer and say, oh no, I just broke this lamp or whatever, but take a picture of it because you don't want them coming back. And this has happened. You don't want them coming back saying, well, that was a $5,000 lamp. And you're thinking to yourself, no, no, that was a $29 lamp from Pier one Air imports. So take a picture of the lamp so that you, you can verify and look up online and find out about how much money that cost, because you don't want to be on the hook for a $5,000 light. If in fact it was a $29 lamp, does that make sense? So take a picture of it. Second of all, if you have super glue, I always carry super glue with me. If I can fix it, I will fix it right there on the spot. It only takes a second to glue something back together. And if you can't fix it, if you can't glue it back together, then don't bother. But if you can, like one time I broke a light, but I was able to super glue it back together and put it back where it was and the light still worked and everything, but that just softens the blow of the customer having to replace it immediately if they need a light in that space. Now, of course I took a picture of it. I sent it to the customer. I said, Oh my gosh, I broke your lamp. I feel so bad. I super glued it back together. So it's still there and it still works. However, I would like to pay for that lamp so that you can replace it and buy yourself a new one. Now, even if you fix it, even if you fix it, you still have to tell the customer that you broke it. Here's why. If they're sitting there and they're watching TV and they look over and they see that their lamp is broken and it's been glued back together and no one said anything about it. Guess what? There's only been one other person in their house and that's the house cleaner. They know you did it, but because you didn't tell them that you did it. Now there's this whole thing about trust that you've just shattered and crumbled because instead of building more trust, you just ruined it by pretending you didn't do it. And you can make all kinds of excuses and say, well, I was so busy cleaning the house. I forgot to mention it. Uh, no, that's huge. When you break something at a customer's house, stop what you're doing, 
go back to your worksheet. Now for me, I took the worksheet and I folded one corner over and I creased it. So now here's their regular worksheet that they're accustomed to seeing, but now a page of it is folded. And on there, I write a personal note and I write it in my handwriting, even if I text them a picture of it and I text them and let them know that I broke the item. I write a handwritten apology because it's in my writing and again, that will catch their attention. Hey, Sharon, I just wanted to let you know, I broke the lamp. I know we discussed it, but I feel so terrible about it. Please, here's some money. I would like to pay for it. Or please let me know how much it costs. And if your insurance has to kick in, usually there's a deductible if your insurance has to kick in. If it's not really expensive and it's under say a hundred bucks, you're probably better off just paying for it out of your own pocket. But the rule is number one, clarify upfront with the customer, I will break something. That way there are no surprises when it happens. Second of all, please point out the fragile items in your house so that I can take extra special care when I'm working or cleaning around those items. Number third, if I break something in your house, which I will, I will be embarrassed and I will be sorry, but I will always let you know. Number four, if you can fix it, go ahead and try to fix it. And then number five, pay for it. Don't just offer to pay for it, pay for it either leave the check for that cleaning that day or say, here's money and pull money out of your pocket. If you carry a bank with you, leave money with them. Um, if for whatever reason, you know that particular item and you know where you can replace it, you may leave a note and say, Hey, listen, I know I, I found this particular unit at Pier one imports. I'm going to swing by there on my way home tonight and I will pick you up another lamp and I will bring it back around six o'clock this evening. So you can make an arrangement like that. But whatever you do, make sure that you do replace it because it's going to get back. When this particular customer tells their friends about you, what is it that they're saying? Well, yeah, she's not perfect. She broke something at my house, but you know what? She had a replacement to me later that evening, or she paid for it the same day. So she's good for it. She's not like trying to rip me off and break stuff and be careless. Okay. So that's it for today. If you found this tip helpful, please pass it along, share it, share it with a house cleaner that you know. You probably know some house cleaners that could use these tips. If you do, share it, pin it, post it, tweet it, all those good things that we do in social media. And until I see you again, because I will see you again, because you'll come back and visit, I hope, leave the world a cleaner place than when you found it.